Welcome to Broxton Rocks. This is one of the first uh, big preserves, really the first big preserve we had in Georgia. And one of the places we've been managing longest in the state with fire. The program that we have going on right now is a fire practicum for the University of Montana. During their uh, January mini session, uh, they have been sending crews to southeast Georgia for several years now. Uh, it's a great partnership. They get to uh, train uh, people who are really accustomed to western fire suppression in southeastern prescribed fire. And they get to see a totally different system uh, they get to work on fire in the middle of winter when they can't do that where they are. And so it's a, it's a, it's a real win-win. Uh, we get a lot of help with applying prescribed fire. Really experienced people, people who know how to catch fire if it gets out, uh, but people who also want to learn a lot from us. This training is uh, a unique opportunity for a lot of students. Uh, this is actually my second time down here, and it allows us to burning a new ecosystem. Kevin, your squad is going to be working south from Hotel Toward Alpha, blacking in in uplands with wiregrass. Jeff's going to be working in bottomland hardwood forest mixed with pines, so it's going to be a lot of mixed litter down in there. This is honestly the most I've worked with prescribed burning. Um, it's a great experience for me. I've only been able to burn a little bit here and there, just uh, burning out before, before the fire reaches uh, the line I was working on, but never, never controlled prescribed burning settings like this. It's not entirely new to me. I've had a lot of um, classroom work on, of how fire works with ecology from an eco ecology standpoint, but I've never actually had any hands-on experience working with fire. So this is the first actual practical fire ecology application I've had. Fire is a natural process. By replicating that process with prescribed fire, uh, we're ensuring ecosystem health and reducing wildfire risk. What fire does, it cleans up the understory, it allows light to get to the ground, which promotes a diversity in the herbaceous layer. Species like bobwhite quail, turkey, deer, gopher tortoises, they need this diversity for food and, and habitat, and fire provides that for them. This is our sixth day of burning down here. so. I still have a lot to learn, but uh, the fuels are a lot different out here compared to what they are in Montana. Almost everything in the forest there will burn. Every day there's so many different things that it's hard to keep track of. Some of the biggest ones maybe are on techniques and really working on leadership and communication as much as lighting techniques. This was a great fire. We had almost perfect fire effects. Uh, the, the fire was relatively easy to control. Uh, the crews just performed flawlessly and, uh, and it was a very safe burn, but uh, ecologically I think the fire effects are going to be fantastic. I think my crew pulled it off really well. They, um, we got two igniters and then we switched up to three and we put a fair, fairly good amount of fire on the ground, more than we usually would, but it took off really nice. And we came back onto the uh, road back over there and lit off the final strip of it and it pulled together perfect. And I can use this experience and hopefully get on a uh, prescribed fire use crew where I can actually go out and do some ecological burning up in Montana or Idaho or wherever I work after I get out of school.